Woods, Pastor Nick Hood, will be starting worship in just a moment. I want to share with you what I'm preaching about this Sunday. I'm preaching today about Nehemiah. This is the third in a series of sermons on Nehemiah. And uh, this week, I'm preaching about Nehemiah actually being on the wall. If you may remember from the first two weeks, uh, the first week, Nehemiah in chapter 1 asked the king of Persia for permission to return home. He's the cupbearer of the king, for the king. He asked for permission to go home to Jerusalem to repair the walls. In the second chapter, the king gives Nehemiah the authority to go home. He gives him his, you know, his blessing. He gives him um, an armed guard to go with him. And uh, he allows Nehemiah to take time off from being the cupbearer to the king to fix the walls of Jerusalem. And then today, what I'm preaching about is Nehemiah actually being back home in Jerusalem. And uh, it's a funny thing. Not everybody was happy that he was there. The Jews were happy that he had returned home. But the adversaries of the Jews were upset because the walls, you know, had gaps in them. They could come and go and plunder uh, as they wanted to at will. But now Nehemiah is back home. And when he comes home, he's up on the wall. His adversaries try to talk him down from the wall. And they say, come on, come on with us out in the uh, open area. We'll reason. Let's reason together. And Nehemiah tells them, this is my verse for today, chapter 6, uh, verse 3. He says, I'm doing a great work and I cannot come down. I'm doing a great work fixing up this wall and I cannot I will not come down and Nehemiah understood that they did not mean him good he understood that uh, they wanted to kill him and you know sometimes in life uh, it's important to have the focus of Nehemiah the wisdom of Nehemiah to understand that not everybody is your friend and that's what I'm preaching about today I'm preaching about focus how do you gain a focus in life how do you maintain that focus? And Nehemiah does this with the help of God. So stick around, pick up the telephone, call a friend, tell them Nick Hood's on the line. Worship is about to begin. God bless, God keep you. And remember, I am praying for you. <laughs> 